community activist and grassroots journalist Yaya Marin Coleman, who is a resident of the Ladyville area in the Blease district, intends to conduct a deep dive of the public transport service from that village to Blease city. She calls it the Ladyville Belize Community Bus Campaign, which has the overall goal of seeing an Im improved service for residents. The intention is to research the policies, laws, and regulations surrounding the award of road service permits and determine compliance with those permits by way of an observation period. Marin Coleman has been traveling that route since 2017. She highlighted that since July 2023, a new bus company whose principal is the village chairman entered is the village chairman entered the scene after Serrano's bus service was not granted a renewal of their road service permit. She shared what ultimately prompted her to conduct that investigation. We know that there's been consistent noise about some people not happy with the service and then um, they advocate for the other bus service come back, which would have been Serrano's. Well, the straw that broke the camel back for me is that Good Friday, morning i gone to catch the bus they had a number of people at the bus stop but i wait with the next to roadside diner and um between the gas station and roadside diner the lady bit. when i was text the um owner of the bus it was answer my text it was answer my voice note then i noticed it say stop so that morning i text and send a picture and tell our people to wait one other bus come, I think from I believe River Valley area. We get on the bus, we gone. Because I ask her what that the bus schedule. It so happened that I have the Minister of Transport, Youth and Sport, Rodwell Williams number. So I sent I had a real time person. I take the picture, I send it to the owner, I send it to the Minister of Transport. So even though the Minister of Transport have disappearing messages, but I make sure I screenshot my messages then. Um that in a real time and the good things happen, I compliment them and then good things too. Long story short. The morning I text the minister and tell her, I don't have no schedule. I know what that was scheduled for Good Friday. Me got over business. Get back Good Friday and decide for catch. I get out there for like one 30 bus. When I get out there, I meet one young sister who was a new mother, just had baby days before. And she says she just missed the 12.30 bus. So when I get out there to get to the 4.30 bus, that means she out there to wait four hours already. The bus never come. The bus come about 6 and left 6.30. That means her sister wait six hours Good Friday. Well, I, I lost it then. No, the street they say for holidays, like one Good Friday, a lot of people don't use the bus. So they're not, because they don't say one need that they are make money, they either not run as scheduled or... They're not to make people, then they look for if they make money or lose money for a day like Good Friday. And the bus owner tell me that for Good Friday, like people work at call centers, they work. So, like the people who are at the call center, like they contact him and he tell them what time the bus to run. I'm like, they're not only call center people use bus for Good Friday. Like that shouldn't even be one conversation. But so it's important for, for we know if the road permits say, that bus owners for post and bus schedule in a certain space publicly and or it then will send that schedule to the transport ministry but make the transport ministry then post bus schedules in our public space especially from public and bank holiday Marin Coleman is seeking four committed non-aligned commuters from the area to assist in the investigation I will look for about four other people I tired at the back they load by myself but I need four people who are credible, who are committed to work, and when I'm known for got no party politics affiliation. I mean, nobody can look for you and will legitimately say, oh, you support this party. You support, I don't, I don't want any kind of heat. I want a credible community group of people who are willing for look on the laws as it relates to transport, bus owners, permits, what happened when they violate, we the people, only the people and save the people. The more knowledge we have and the more we reason together with respect, we could come up to solutions to the challenges that we have in our communities. So that that a short-term goal and the long-term goal that will keep this up through the end of the year with monthly report backs 
as a community. Now, this for serve notice for all bus owners. We want later will be the case today will happen when people unite in their own interest, learn in their own interest, and act in their own interest. This is really about people power. If you live in the Ladyville area and you're interested in assisting, you can call Marin Coleman at 671-8050.